appear. Senate Democrats blocking the Republican police reform bill. Here's Senator Tim Scott, who wrote the bill. Here's what he said on Fox and Friends earlier today. Roll tape. So when you go piece by piece, what the only thing you can conclude is it wasn't what we were talking about, it was who was talking. And not just me, Tim Scott, but who was talking was the Republican Party saying to minority communities, to underserved communities, to liberal controlled communities like Atlanta and Minneapolis, Cleveland. We were saying to those, to those residents, we hear you, we see you, here are reforms. Okay, it's going nowhere. Uh, come on in, Steve Rogers, gentleman on the right-hand side there, former police officer and Trump 2020 advisory board member. Are we ever going to see police reform? Well, let's look at some facts. Uh, President Trump's executive order actually did what the people and the police wanted done. Uh, he created a executive order that was designed to build trust between the police and the people. And at the same time, which is very important, is to maintain law and order. And uh, Senator Scott is absolutely right. The Dems refuse to uh, get on board with that. Why? Because they want to carry this through it over to the next election. Who heard the cry of the people? Who heard the cry of the police? The president of the United States and the GOP. The Democrats, it's fallen on deaf ears. Okay, now I want you to listen to what Speaker Pelosi had to say about this. Uh, roll tape, please. When you were speaking yesterday, you said that Republicans are, quote, trying to get away with murder, actually, the murder of George Floyd. Senate Republicans are demanding an apology for that statement. Will you apologize? Absolutely, positively not. Uh, the fact is, people say, I, I think you frankly in the press have given them far too much credit for a bill that does nothing. They're saying, well, you have your bill, they have theirs. Yeah, our bill does something, theirs does nothing. Uh, she said they're getting away with the murder of George Floyd and the bill does nothing. Your response, please, sir. Where are the murders happening? Chicago, Los Angeles, New York. The blood of crime victims are flowing on the streets of this country like never before because the Democrats refuse to sign a bill to get on board to help the people and the police. That apt statement of hers is absolutely ridiculous. And, and as you look at the facts, as I just articulated them, you can see the GOP and the president are doing what the people have asked to be done. The Democrats have politicized this. I find it astonishing that uh, this country is not prepared to stand up and say we need police police officers. Let's give them the power to do their job. Nobody's saying that, except the president and some Republicans. Last word to you. Well, i uh, simply say this. We need to support uh, uh, the GOP. We need to support the president. And more so, Stuart, I believe in the power of prayer. I'm asking the American people to pray for our country. My Lord, we need some divine intervention to heal the wounds here. Steve Rogers, thanks for joining us, sir. I appreciate it. Always. Thank you. Uh, we now have more developments on